I had heard about the KP equation back when I was just doing a project in combinatorics dealing with a combinatorial object called the positive Grassmannian. And I just heard the KP equation listed off as one of the applications of uh, this math. About 10 years ago, Nima and at the time his student, um, Yara Trinka, they discovered an object called the amplituhedron, which comes from the positive Grassmannian, and it seems to encode a lot of the secrets of particle physics. So this is very fascinating to me, and they're still doing very interesting work here in the School of Natural Sciences, and they love combinatorics there. There are these things called Riemann theta functions that are associated to algebraic curves that um, are very closely related to the KP equation. So I was telling uh, Hadley from Natural Sciences about these theta functions, and he, they looked familiar to him, especially the combinatorial degenerations of it with something that they also use in particle physics. So we've been talking to each other to figure out um, what exactly that connection may be, because so far, theta connections have not been connected to particle physics. These kinds of complementary knowledge maybe will make some interesting advances.